Oh, hi. Have you or a loved one had a baby recently? We hate to say this, but you might have just brought a white supremacist into the world. Don't worry though, we're here to help. It's important to always look for clues of racist tendencies in your newborn so that you can nip that in the bud. Here are five troubling signs that your baby might be a white supremacist. Sign number one, he's white, which automatically makes him a racist. If your newborn is white, then sorry, it's game over. Your baby will be irredeemably racist forever. Sad. Sign number two, your baby has no hair, which is a common neo-Nazi hairstyle. Is your baby a skinhead? Having no hair is a colossal red flag. Here's a big one. Shows his white fragility by crying all the time. Crying is a sure sign of defensiveness and a fear of honest conversations around race. Not good. Four, your baby refuses to say Black Lives Matter. Seriously, what is so hard about saying Black Lives Matter? If instead he says things like Goo Goo Gaga, this is even more troubling. The phrase Goo Goo Gaga has 10 letters in it. Do you know what else has 10 letters in it? Heil Hitler. Five, your baby shows colorblindness by playing with other kids regardless of their race. But here's the kicker, colorblindness is racist. Minorities need their own separate spaces without white invaders. Decolonize your playtime, mom and dad. If you remain vigilant, you may play a part in preventing another baby from becoming a racist. Uh, unless he's white, of course. There's nothing you can do about that. Hi, I'm Kyle Mann, the editor-in-chief of the Babylon Bee. We make a lot of jokes about Facebook and how they suppress free speech. And I just want to take this opportunity to say that we are sorry. And... <laughs> no, nothing! That was nothing! For the sake of my friend, please don't subscribe to the Babylon Bee.